Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve absolute value equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, we're going to solve the absolute value of 5x minus 4 minus 3, the, <laughs> this first part's in the absolute value, minus 3 is outside of it, and is equal to 8. And so we want to solve for x here. So I tr kind of treat absolute value like a parenthesis, and we want to add a 3 and bring that over to the right-hand side. So we have absolute value of 5x minus 4. Here is equal to 8 plus 3, which is 11. Now, from here, we want to really break this down. We have the absolute value of something here, f of 5x minus 4, and that's going to be equal to 11. So we're going to split this into two different equations here. We want the 5x minus 4 is equal to a positive 11, and 5x minus 4 is equal to a negative 11. And we're going to solve each one individually. I'm going to add a 4 to both sides here, and I have a 5x is equal to 11 plus 4, which is 15. We divide both sides by 5, which is left here. x is by itself, and 15 divided by 5 is a good old 3. Let's go on to the next one here. We add a 4 to both sides. And we have a 5x here is equal to negative 11 plus 4, which is a negative 7. From there, we want to divide both sides by 5. 5 to get x by itself, and x is equal to a negative 7 fifths. So we have two answers here. We can quickly check them to make sure, well, we got the right answers. It's kind of good to do that. And this happens a lot of times actually with absolute value, where you'll have two, um, two different answers here. So going on, we want to take our original equation and see if the left and right hand side are equal. So I'm going to put it here, my check. I have an absolute value of 5. Let's start with 3 here. Minus 4. Oh, not parenthesis. Minus 3 equals 8. 5 times 3 is a 15. Minus 4. Minus 3 equals 8. 15 minus a 4 is 11. So we have absolute value of 11. That's always weird to see. Minus 3 equals 8. Let's do this. So it's a little easier. Absolute value of 11 is 11. Minus 3 gives us an 8. So left and right hand side are equal, so let's do the same thing with our negative 7 fifths. So we have the absolute value of 5 times a negative 7 fifths here, minus 4, minus 3 equals 8. Well 5 times a negative 7 fifths, 5's cancel, so we have a negative 7 left over, minus 4 inside the absolute value, minus 3 equals an 8. Negative 7 minus a 4 gives us that negative uh, 11 here, minus 3. And then absolute value, oh sorry, equals 8. The absolute value of negative 11 is a positive 11. So positive 11 minus 3 equals 8. And I'm not sure if this will be on the camera if I go lower, so I'll put it up here. Negative 11 minus 3 is a positive 8. So 8 equals 8, we're good. Both checks turned out, and so our final answer proven, again, x equals 3, and x equals a negative 7 fifths. I hope this video was informative for you, and if it was, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.